Hey, good morning everyone. It's Nate here at Cruising Views. Finally, today's the day that I'm going to do a review in my top five um, major points of the Kelderman Two Link Rear Air Ride System. Let's go. All right, so uh, I'm here underneath the truck and I'm gonna show you what comes with the uh, two link and everything that I uh, order directly through Kelderman. Uh, again, everything's on their website, kelderman.com and uh, check, check out all that information out. So here's what I got. Here's the uh, air dryer right here. So this is gonna prolong the air compressor which is in this box. Um, I live in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah, so, you know, it gets cold um, in the winters, we get snow, and then it gets very hot in the summers. So, you know, this will evaporate and dry all of that moisture within the lines of the uh, air ride system. So this is the dryer, and then this is the, uh, the actual compressor in the Kelderman box. Up underneath here, you're going to see uh, where the tank is mounted. That's a two and a half gallon uh, air tank. And uh, it was mounted nicely by Ian over at the um, uh, uh, Mopar Performance Shop. All right, so coming to the rear of the truck, this is going to be the meat and potatoes of the air ride system. So this thing um, hooks up right here to the lease ring package. So the lease ring package um was actually connected to the truck then it was disconnected by ian when uh, he installed it and then it's now connected into this absolute massive super thick air ride system so this bar actually uh this this whole component actually has all of the um the bumps transferred into the air ride Here's one of the bags. So these are 5,000 pound capacity bags. And again, look at these mounting points. It's like just completely overbuilt, super stout. I love it. Okay, I'm coming around here to the rear. You can see how it hooks up to the frame. And then look at this thing. So here's the arms. This is, uh, I got this with a two and a half inch uh, rear hitch super stout again and then as we come around this side here's the second airbag and then this right here is the self leveling mechanical uh, portion so this arm you can set it right here to any ride height you want so you could go down or you could go up uh, I have it pretty much just even right here and this thing um, is is you know self leveling. So anytime that I've got uh, I'm under load and I'm going around a turn or it gets you know somewhat uh, off level, it will automatically come on and level right back up. And here's where the air actually comes out, right here. And it's amazing. Okay, inside the truck, you're going to see where um, I have the dump controls on. So we have the uh, air system on or off. Then we have the dump off. You push it and it turns on. And it's right here, uh, right underneath the dash. All right, so I'm in the truck now and I'm going to go over uh, really these five major points that uh, I believe really just has Kelderman's knocked it out of the park with their two link, uh, the reasons why I got the two link and uh, how it's been performing over the last about five months that I've had it. So number one is, I'm just gonna tell you quickly about the ride quality evolution of this truck. So I've got a 2019 Ram 5500. I bought it as a cabin chassis, it was incomplete. And uh, when I first got this thing from Iowa, it rode terrible. And, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the absolute best, it was a zero. 
I mean, this thing rode so bad. I had never driven actually a cabin chassis 5500. The lease ring package, the suspension, everything is so huge and overbuilt and meant for thousands and thousands of pounds. When it was incomplete and, and there was nothing on this truck, uh, it, ter it was beyond terrible. So now the evolution, as I was saying, is then I got a single wheel conversion done by Buckstop Truckwear out of Primeville, Oregon. I'll link them uh, down below. They are phenomenal, those guys. And they did a single wheel conversion where they, you know, in the process, removed the dually tires and then converted to four massive 41 inch Continental MPT-81 radial tires. Now the radial tires um, are, are actually a lot better driving than the dually tires because those dually tires are meant for like 95 100 psi all highway where these radial tires i ride them with 50 psi in the front and then 65 in the rear made a really good difference but we went from a zero to like a two and a half at this point then the third portion of the evolution of the uh, truck is i then got a nap hide aluminum flatbed which weighs about 550 pounds. I have a 70 gallon auxiliary fuel tank from RDS out of Florida. That's on the on the back of the bed, as well as a spare tire from Buckstop um, and their steel rim. So all said and done, I have about a thousand pounds now on the back rails of this truck. We're looking at about a four and a half driving experience. So we're getting about you know, somewhat, you know, nice-ish to drive. Not really, but it's four and a half. So that's why I uh, invested a lot of time and then money into the Kelderman two-link rear air ride system. Tremendous difference. It went from a four and a half, jumped it all the way up to like a nine and a half. This thing, the only reason why it's not a 10 is because I did not get the, the two front airbags, which I will be getting. If I got those at the time, this would be a 10. But just on those two rears, whew, nine and a half. It really rides cush. Those bumps being transferred into those airbags make. It's unbelievable. All right, so number two now on the uh, top five reasons and review of the Kelderman, uh, we got the price, okay? So I'm gonna be transparent. Everything's on their website. So, you know, like I said, I'm gonna link them and, and go to their website, but I'm just gonna tell you here. The uh, two link air ride was uh, about $2,000. It's like $19.95 plus another 50 bucks for the uh, two and a half inch rear hitch that comes, you know, that can be uh, installed with it, and which I got. So it was about, you know, just a little shade over 2,000. The uh, air dryer uh, with the dump, which I'll explain the dump comes in massive with me. Um, that was 650 bucks. And then the self-leveling air system with the, uh, with the, um, uh, air compressor and everything that was another thousand dollars so all said and done with the shipping we were right around four grand for this complete kit everything all the bells and whistles which i uh thoroughly suggest you get okay number three why did i get the two link instead of the four link that is kind of the you know ultimate um rear suspension from Kelderman. There's only one reason. And the reason is, is that I have a three and a half inch lift on all four corners of this truck. Uh, Buckstop Truck Wear has uh, their single wheel conversion kit. I actually drove my truck up to them and then they took about uh, five days to do this, the uh, single wheel conversion. Within their kit, there's a three and a half inch lift on all four corners. So that nullified the four link rear suspension through Kelderman. They only do it on a stock height 
or on a negative stock height, but they do not do it on a positive or a lifted truck. So because of that, it was out of the question. And then I got the two link again. Okay. Number four, the air dump uh, that comes with the air dryer. Um, it's like a uh, additional add on. This air dump is awesome for me because I have a truck camper, the uh, host mammoth truck camper, and I'm already sitting at like 51 inches off the ground to the top of the deck of my flatbed. So when I do an air dump, it actually lowers that deck almost four full inches, which makes it tremendously easier for me to then back up and load the host truck camper on the back of the bed. Okay, so as many of you guys know, I'm all about one thing when it came to this truck and that's payload. Optimal, optimal payload for what I'm doing, which is hauling a 6,000 pound truck camper plus uh, all the other um, gear and fuel and water that I have on this. So I'm well excess of 8,000 pounds uh, on the rear axle there. So that's why I got the 5,500. Well, let me tell you, these two industrial strength airbags that Kelderman has with this two link is 5,000 pounds a piece. So this truck, this Ram 5500 comes with 11,000 pounds of payload. That's the max. Well, these two airbags then fit perfectly within that range and give me 10,000 pounds combined to then level any load I have back there. Hey guys, this is Kristen. Uh, I just wanted to come on and do a quick testimonial for the Kelderman uh, Air Ride 2 Link suspension that we put on in the back that Nate did his review on today. Um, I hands down think it is the most awesome product and it has saved my daughter and I so much bouncing. Um, I really refused to ride in that truck when he bought it stock. And, and I felt I felt bad because I, I didn't want any part in it. I didn't want to ride in the truck uh, on road trips, let alone a mile to the grocery store. I'm not, I'm not getting in this truck until you get some kind of suspension. And he chose the Kelderman to link air ride. And since then it took it from a four to, in my mind, sitting in the back seat, a 10. <laughs> from a wife's perspective, um, you can let your women know in your life that it is significant and you can show them this testimonial. Um, because we tried a lot of things and, and nothing would work um, and we couldn't get around the fact that we needed this air ride suspension um, to make it a drivable vehicle. And not only drivable, it is like luxury, smooth, um, no bumpiness anymore. So, so we recommend it, I recommend it. I'm so thankful that he did this and this truck is gonna be our family vehicle. It is our family vehicle. We take it everywhere and uh, my Lexus is sitting in the, in the, in the drive, in the garage. Um, and, uh, it's awesome. So go check them out. Thanks. All right. So that concludes the top five reasons and review of my Kelderman worth every penny. And it is something that I fully, fully recommend and get behind anyone getting this to have a far superior ride quality in their truck. It makes this a joy to drive now. So I hope this helps. And then uh, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate uh, you know everyone supporting us. It truly helps us uh, get out there and give you more reviews and, and share our uh, practical experience with this build. And uh, we really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And we'll see you uh, next week with a new video.